bye welcome everybody so i'm back again with the next video on this channel so yeah start to back up this channel with talking about me moving to england and all that good stuff if you didn't get that video you can go ahead and watch that video and then come back to this video but <clears throat> one thing i was getting a lot from people from that last video you know on my dms and instagram and i think probably in the comments there somebody wants me to talk about my work more and i think i'll talk more in depth about what i do probably in this video maybe a separate video but a lot of people are asking me how it is that i got to migrate here how i got a job here and kind of all of that so in this video i'm basically going to be sharing ways how you can migrate to the uk as well by the way do you like my steam universe shirt it's it's really tired and distressed right now i need to get a, another one to be quite honest with you but if you know steam universe and watch steam universe and you're a CV Universe fan, drop it down in the comments. I always love thinking about my SU fans. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. But before I go on, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share on this video to people you might think would want to watch this. It really helps with the channel. When you just drop a simple like, subscribe, or just even a comment, boost the algorithm, boost the channel, all that stuff when they actually record all of those engagement things. So for this video, basically, I'm going to be exploring the ways, or just like presenting the ways in two major parts. You have work and you have school. So I'm basically gonna be talking about those two. So the preface, I don't think I actually talked about my way and how I got up here, but I myself am a British citizen. Oh, wow. So it was kind of easy for me to just look for a job. So I'm a dual citizen, Jamaican and British. So it's kind of easy for me to just cut a job and just you know, come over here and stay with some family members and so on. But what I tried to do was to talk to my friends who, you know, I thought may have been Jamaican, um, fully Jamaican and so on, and see how they got up here. And some of them shared their ways and um, under work, basically most of them kind of are up here for work. Some of them are up here because of school, but a lot of them come up on work. And what I found from those um, friends is that you have a lot of programs that people um, in the UK actually want to bring over people from you know places like Jamaica to um, boost up their workforce. And that's true because even on Instagram, like me, I scroll, scroll through before I move come over here. I think I was mentioning London and England and UK a lot. So you know the, the ops, the ops heard me. And they were giving me ads about, you know, nurses in the UK, we want nurses. So if you're a nurse, definitely know that there's an opportunity for you to come over here um, to the UK. So if you're interested in coming over to the UK, you can always go check it out. Um, honestly, just go Google UK, nurses in UK, probably, you know, like migrating nurses, something like so. But if you're a nurse, definitely, they might look nurse up here. Also teachers, they're looking for teachers as well. One of my friends are, um, is a teacher and that's kind of how we came over here there was a program that basically was recruiting teachers from jamaica to come over here or just people who are like proficient in a certain field to come over here and teach so that's one program that you can um you can look towards to be able to come over into the uk the other way when it comes down to working is just going to apply so it's similar to what i did i was applying through the job listings and so on and to be honest a lot of the jobs were like do you need sponsorship and you know i obviously would be like no because i'm a citizen as i said but you know for you if you want um, sponsorship you'd obviously tell them yes i require sponsorship especially if you know say your resume good resume good up turn up resume tight resume clean resume fresh <laughs> definitely um just apply you can use sites like indeed and linkedin those are my two biggest sites when i was personally um looking for jobs but just know that it's, it's gonna definitely be a process as i said even for me i would definitely try in my cover letter to say yo i'm moving to the uk so you don't have to worry about me being in jamaica as an issue even then they would still it still felt like a problem for them so just know that it's going to be a process just because you are in jamaica right now so yeah but i think you might may have more look for like in office jobs like if you have to go to the office rather than remote jobs because when you reply, apply for a, a remote job they see you in jamaica and they kind of gonna feel like you want to work from jamaica for them in jamaica so it's gonna be a process if you're looking for remote work but if it is that you're looking for in-office jobs you might have a higher chance of getting it especially when you, if you see like a panel that says do you require a sponsorship you know you just tick yes 
and just go through the um, motions with that job application process. But just know so you don't have to get up on a resume, make sure the resume look good. If you're not applying to a certain sector, if there's any free certification you can do around that sector, do it. Um, right now I'm working in communications, mainly because of you know what I've been doing on the internet. Um, I got a lot of so, oh, sorry, I don't know. I'm just eat a while ago. <laughs> I'm burping. Anyway, so there's a lot of um, certifications that I did. I did um, the Google digital marketing thing. I did a uh, social media strategy, so on and so forth. So it's like, you know, they saw those stuff and stuff. And they saw my presence on, online and they were like, yeah, I kind of like your stuff. And you're a pharmacist, I'm a medical I'm a representative. So, you know, things like that to beef up your resume. Yes, <laughs> it definitely helps. So now we're going on to the flip side. We're talking about schooling. So again, while I was in Jamaica and I was mentioning London, UK, this, that, that a lot, then you had a lot of um, ads coming in for me um, from, I think it was University of London or so on. I'm going to try and actually research those ads again to see um, what actual universities they were. I just share the link of like everything in my bio because um, there were some ads again for work stuff. So I'll put those in my bio so you can just easily go to the different um, sites that you need to go to but yeah um when it comes to schooling there's a lot of schools that are um that are offering um scholarships and probably not scholarships but like programs and then that would then um that would then what's the word <sighs> this is embarrassing embarrassing i'm embarrassed this is really embarrassing that would <sighs> one eternity later eligible that would make you eligible that's probably not the word i really wanted but it would make you eligible to um come over in the uk on a student visa and you just like the schooling up here um so after that though you would have to obviously search for a scholarship because you know so the tuition will go up, up there the price will go up high yeah so that's one route just like applying to colleges make sure you your, your um, grades were nice and so on or your resume look nice again so you know you have a higher chance of getting accepted speaking of scholarships this is one of the biggest ways to get to the uk the achievement scholarship you now a lot of people that i know um actually left jamaica and came to the uk because of this um by way of the scholarship the achievement scholarship and i was on instagram and again the ops the ops Apps. I saw an ad <laughs> that was like the Chevening Scholarship is opened for application August 2nd. So on August 2nd, put a reminder in the calendar, paste it up on your wall somewhere. August 2nd, you can submit an application. I don't know till, till when, but August 2nd it opened. You want to make sure you're either the first set of people. You want to make sure you're the first set of people and last. If they allow multiple submissions, I don't know how it worked because I couldn't do it. I, I was looking into doing it, but they were like, you can't do it if you have British citizens. I'm like, oh. anyway. <laughs> so yeah, um, make sure you're probably like in the first set of people. Or yeah, the first set of people because like that's, I think that's kind of the sensible way to do it. I'm going to go through first. And like towards the end, I feel like I'm just gonna run out of energy. That's kind of skip through. So, August second, Chevening Scholarship is open. Definitely do up your essays and so on. Um, talk to any friends you might have that might be an Chevening Scholarship, and you know, just ask them what they had to do, what they wrote about, so you can probably start writing about it right now. And then by August second, come all you have to do, I just kind of submit, or all you have to do, I just make sure that you have everything that they require at that time. And then just click submit so yeah so far that's it that's all um, i have um <clears throat> on how to come over to the uk work and school i was asking um someone i know who was jamaican who came over here but he got married to someone because of love and you know obviously you can't just get married to somebody even if you don't love them to get a uk visa just so you can come over here anyway so yeah that's it the two ways i'm endorsing are through work and school publicly so yes um that's how you can migrate and come to the uk if the uk is somewhere that you want to go you know what everybody want to go us everybody want to go us everybody want to go canada 
Canada, but the UK is also an option if you know you just probably want a nice change of pace and so on. So yeah, and two UK is a part of the is a part of Europe, so it's like you can literally just kind of go anywhere once you're here. Cause everywhere is kind of in close proximity when you're over here. So it's kind of like you can go yeah, so you can go this so. Obviously, I'll spend money, but it's still kind of experience, you know. Yeah. Alright, so I think that's it for this video today. I hope you all learned something. If you are actually interested in coming over to the UK, hope you know you found a way to come over to the UK. Or if you know someone who might be interested in coming over to the UK, please share this video with them and hopefully they can learn as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Please, again, it really helps with this channel so I can continue making content like this. Let me know what it is that you probably want to see from me from this channel or again i also do health and wellness stuff so if it is that you want to see more of that you can always drop what you want to see in the comments if you know me about instagram go drop me a dm on instagram as to what you want to see and i will make it and if it's health and wellness stuff i'll put it over that channel and if it's just some random something you want i'll put it over here as well oh yeah by the way don't forget to go and follow me on instagram and tiktok and even twitter too those will also be down in the description yeah so yeah, thank you all so much and I'll see you later. See you in the next week. Bye.